Mm, before the interview starts, make sure you go to MarsMarsMars.com and use the Mars files at checkout for 15% off your order. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I was in a relationship for a little bit, and it was kind of like my first one that I took serious in a long time. So like, I was really like head over heels. And that's when like, you start like writing songs. Like One, I'm never doing that again. I'm, I'm never writing songs for like somebody, or not even like for her, <laughs> but it was just like about them ever again. Like I'm, I'm never gonna do that because that just gives them like hella power. I, I don't wanna like do that. Young bass died and I'm bass with the Marsians. Marsians, 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 Marsians. So uh, this is the Mars Files, powered by 1AM Radio, live on Dash Radio. It's your boy Mars three times, and today I got uh, Javi. Yes, sir. Um. So usually I like to start these interviews at the beginning, but I'm kind of curious about your name. Like mm. it, that's just your first name? No. Okay. So it's my first name. Um, it's Javen, right? And, my, and it's my last name is Hernandez. That's because my mom is from uh, like South America, like somewhere in there. So it's they all speak um, I'm like fluent, fucking like Spanish. So when they would like see me, it's, it's, it was just my um, I'm like nickname for them was just like Javi. And that's just what I used like as soon as I got um, like older. So that's how it just came about. So your so your mom's Spanish, like like Afro Latina. Mm, yeah. Do you know where exactly in South America? Or um, really? I think in. I was not Jamaica. Uh, it like starts with a B. Belize. Belize. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Boom, beautiful. Have you ever been there? No, because it was last time she had even went. I think when like she was like sixteen, seventeen. So when I get older, I do want to go. Or I mean, like it's even like you know, like now. Yeah. I'd definitely be down to go, but I don't know. I just haven't found the time to. So. Do you speak Spanish at all? I do, but I just don't like to. Like, I'm not, like, the best at it, so I don't, I don't want to. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. I'm kind of the same way. Like, I'm, I'm Cuban and Colombian, mm -hmm. and, like, I could speak Spanish, yeah. but, like, really only to my grandparents is who I feel comfortable because they're not going to judge me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of just want to start at the beginning, bro. Where, where, are you, uh, where are you from? I'm from Riverside. Riverside, California? Yeah, Riverside, California. Yeah. Listen, what was it, like, what was your experience, like, growing up there? Um... Like, there's, like, a middle-class like, area, but there's still, you know, like, certain parts where it's, you know, freaking out on, like, poverty. And I kind of live, like, downtown and, like, the uptown part of it. So, um, and, it like, even if we lived in the, um, um like, middle-class part, like, we were not, like, the wealthiest. So, it was, it was, like, days where, like, the lights were off. It was days where, you know, like, it's, we didn't have no water. You know, it's just, like, different shit like that. Just regular, like, broke shit. Um, and then it was, like, back in, like, downtown, we, like, lived in, like, the, I mean, it was like a bad area, yet for, um, I guess like my age or for at the time, like I didn't, I didn't really care. Like it was just like a place to stay and I had friends there too. So I, I really didn't care until like I, I got older and I was like realized that there's people outside that were like off of pills or they were off, you know, with drugs. It was like shootings, but I thought it was like regular though. And yeah. then now I'm just starting to like realize like that was not regular at all. But yeah. How does, I mean, I mean, you say you don't care, so it, did, it didn't really, like, affect you too much growing up mm -mm, then? Not at all. Not, like, it, okay, so it was what my mom did was, like, she, like, kept us inside or, she, like, it was at, like, a certain time we always had to be home. So, so when, like, the least, or is when the, um, like, street lights were on, we had to be home. So, like, we really didn't get to see a lot. We would just hear it. And like yeah. the after, like math. Of Did you understand like, what was going on as a kid growing up or not um, really? Around like 11, 12 is when I started to see, you know, um, um, like certain stuff or whatever. And that's when I started to see the freaking out like gangs. Yet like the gangs out there are not like as big as they are like out here. So it wasn't like that big of a deal to me really. And I saw like movies. So I was already like, oh, it's not that bad. Like, you know, that's what I see in the movies. It just wasn't that like big or like emphasized really. Yeah, absolutely. Like, what was, I mean, what was your home life like? Were you, are both your parents together? Or? Nah, um, my dad wasn't, like, really there. We, uh, like, know him. We just don't really, you know, like, talk to him like that. I think, like, last time I talked to him, I was, like, eight or nine. Like, he didn't send no, um, um like, happy birthday shits. He, he wasn't at my graduation. He wasn't my, he wasn't at my brother's graduation. Like, yeah, like, it's, we don't feel, you know, um, like, sad about it. Like, it's kind of just, like, a thing that's just kind of, like. It's normal. Oh, well. Yeah, it's, like. Oh, well, um, it like, do you, I mean, do you think though, like, do you think that that like affected you growing up or it just like, you didn't really have anything to compare it to? I didn't have anything to really, I mean, it, I mean, it like one of those things where I'm like, oh, well, I, I don't have a dad. And it was like, all my friends didn't have dads either. So it was kind of just like, oh, well, like what else can we really do about it? Yeah. Like, 
we would make like jokes about it really like not even like be like sad about like damn bro like we really don't have that no it was like we're like nigga you don't have a dad either and like bro you don't eat like it was just you know like jokes about that type of shit so we like made uh like lie to the you know um, like, situation yeah like it wasn't that big of a deal to us and um then- um as far as my mom she was just like hella cool like she like gave us like a lot of freedom like as soon as we turned like 13 like we were outside till late every night until i was 13 at that point is it hard to like stay out of the gang and like how um, many friends how many friends do you have if any that um, are like part of the gangs so in it was so it was like my eighth grade year is when we moved it was over to the um I'm like uptown part and there's like not a lot of gangs over there so it wasn't hard it's because you don't really see any or like no one even freaking out I'm, I'm like talks about it it was like the only thing that like might have been hard was uh to like not like smoke and i ended up freaking out like smoking so it was kind of just <laughs> yeah. oh well but i didn't really have any hard times with the other like, gangs like as soon as i got older yeah yeah and then so how do you end up getting into music like i'm, I'm sure you've been a fan of music your whole oh, life yeah. so um like mom's she was actually in the church for like most of her life so we were at church for like most of our life too so i in and she's involved in everything so she was in the freaking um, like choir she's in the uh, like praise was church, teams. was church ever like annoying for you no, uh, uh-huh. not annoying. It was just long, because like a freaking um, um like black church goes for like two three hours. Like that's the worst. And I don't and I don't I don't like mine church, but just like we be singing ten songs. You like, dude, like it's two. Like <laughs> I'm ready to up. go eat. <laughs> like I'm ready to go to this freaking I'm like potluck like after this. So I'm like, but it was never annoying. And we and the, it was just like hella kids there. So we always had friends. So yeah. it wasn't that bad. But um. Are you a very religious person? I'm not, no. Like, it was at the time we were going. It's just because my mom, like, made us, like, around, like, 15. She just, like, stopped, and I just stopped going to church. And it's not like I don't have, like, a, you know, like, hatred towards, or like you know, a God resentment. like that. It's just when I'm in the church, I know what, like, is, like, happening that's not shown. And I'm like, why would I be with people who are doing this, this, and that, and they're at church, and they want to tell me to do this and that, and they're not even doing it. So it's like, it's like a lot of the church is, um, I'm like hypocrites. So I don't even want to go inside the church. Like as far as we're doing like my own, you know, I'm, I'm like studies, sure, but it's like the actual church, I'm, I'm off that. I think they're the most hypocritical people in the world, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Um, it's, it's with me like being at church so often it's, you hear like so many songs that you start to gain like your own, you know, um, I'm like melodies. But then as soon as we got home, I'm listening to like stuff on, um, I'm like MTV, like BET. It was like my favorite, like rapper, like when I was younger, it was, uh, like Bow Wow. So I was like watching him just like since I was younger and just like seeing him, uh, like sell out big ass, um, like stadiums at like 13 and just freaking doing like tours. I was like, dude, like I want to do that. And then that's how I. Like, I just started, like, doing music. I think I did music, like, 13, 14 off, like, a freaking, um, like, laptop and, like, a garage band mic. And then, like, we got, like, better and better at it. I turned, like, 19 is when we got, like, our first, um uh, like, studio time. And then, like, since then, it, like, we just got better and better. You've just it. been moving. Yeah. I mean, what what's what's your first song, like, do you remember? Oh, my first song. Um, does it sound anything like it does now? Hell no. <laughs> nah. Um, it was my first, like, my first song. I was listening to, like, people um like Joey Badass and... It was all like East Coast or just like a lot of like deep, deep like rap. And so then you were on like, some boom bap shit? Yeah, not even on some, like not even on no boom bap shit. It's like more of like some LA shit in, in a way. Like go deeper. Like, wait, 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 hold on. What, what was the question that you had asked? I asked you how you got into music and then. No, no, no. It was one that you like just asked me. It was like some boom bap shit? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 that one was some boom bap. Yeah, like, and then I got out of that like type of shit. Like, I, I just, like, stop just... It's funny because I feel like a lot of times, like, artists, like, their first their first songs are always, like, on some boom bap shit. Mm. And I, I feel like it's, like... I, it's, like, almost saying it is, like, disrespectful, but I feel like it's, like, the easiest, like, rap to do. It is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's why it's everybody's starting point until they, like, evolve into, mm. like, finding their own... Right. Their own sound. But, like, there's definitely, like, old hip-hop heads that would be, like, upset by saying, like... Oh, I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna please everybody, so I don't I don't really take it, you know, too like hard about it. But um it's like the East Coast shit is still hard to me. I, I just don't listen to it anymore. And it was like the first shit I wrote had to be the the like the weakest thing I've ever wrote. 
I don't even know, but it was just off the like beats that I chose. Yeah. It's like I, I could already tell like it was already weak. Yeah. So I was listening to some of your music um earlier and yeah, your stuff has like a very uh, distinct like West Coast sound mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. At what point did you start doing that? Like when did you find that sound? Um, I think when I was like 18. Um, like who were you listening to? Cause, cause I'm also curious cause I'm not, I'm not from LA. Yeah. So like, I'm always curious about like, cause I see like the LA scene is like, yeah. it's like having like a renaissance essentially. Like mm-hmm. the new LA is yeah, fucking happening, you know? And, and not that everybody sounds the same, but like there is like a sound yeah, that's no, coming yeah, yeah, out yeah, of yeah, the West of coast. Course. So you're like 18. Like what did, like who were you listening to? Okay, and, so and I like, think when I was 18, I was listening to who was out when I was 18. I think when I was 18, I was listening to a lot of I future. And then I was listening to um, some Dom Kennedy um, and like some like YG, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And then it was like, as I got older, I think when I turned uh, like 20, is it's like as soon as I started to like really get into the other freaking out my like music, like tough. So I was so I was listening from like, you know, like people from um, like Ruchi to like G Herbo. To, mm. And then and I'd go back to freaking out my like Jaden Smith. And then I'm at freaking out my like Kaylin. It was just like a lot of like different stuff, and I kind of just put like my own little twist on like different stuff, and I just made like my own kind of. So yeah, absolutely. Where do you think you fit in this new puzzle of the the new LA scene? Well, I'm not even from LA, so it, like really, I don't even think I should fit in. It's with the LA scene because I'm. I mean, I'm, how I'm far from, is how far is Riverside? Like an hour. Okay. So, is it still LA County, or it's not even mm-hmm, LA County nah, anymore? Like we are like okay, one it's like the like LA and the, like the IE. I, I don't want to say it's beef. But so, like, so you're from the Inland Empire. That's yes. what that's considered. Yeah. Okay. So it's not even like beef, but like, like a lot of LA people do not like the IE at all. Like no one, no one like likes the IE. Why? It's because I guess they think that we like to fake um, um like gangbang or we like want to be like them. I personally don't see how because we don't have a lot of gangs out there. I mean, it's you know. Were you um, like side? This is a total side yeah. question. Were you like hype on the on the the. The New Age Boys? What was it? The new... The, like, New Boys? The New Boys? When freaking out my like, jerking was popping? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we all jerked. It, <laughs> yeah, it was, like, a whole, like, nation thing, though. It was, like, the whole... Like, no, I was I was, I was was in South Florida, and I was I was jerking. Yeah, yeah, see? So... <laughs> it was yeah, definitely a thing. I think it, like, started with just that. Like, it, like everybody was... Jerk, it, it was just freaking out my like, jerking, and then from that is when, like, the gang started. And then somehow it's, like, the IE got, like... Hey, out of just like nowhere. Now, like the whole, I don't hear a lot of nice shit from like the LA people about the IE, except for freaking um, um like Shoreline Mafia. They're from the IE. They are from LA. Yet yeah, they had. Um, they still fuck with the IE. Yeah, they had. I I I think they had like an interview with like No Jumper. It was like last week, and and they said that they fuck with the IE. But that's like the only thing I've heard in like the longest time from like a big you know um like LA like person. Word, word. People, this is a side note also. Uh, if you ever heard of I Love You Hook or Hook. Yeah, Hook. Yeah, yeah. She's fire. I from Riverside too. Yeah. Yeah, she's, her ass, her ass for sure go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, <laughs> it is, it's the song that goes up at every single party is freaking out. I'm like 90. Okay. Yeah, so she go hard off tops. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you just dropped a project July, 4L. you said? Mm-hmm. 4L. 4L? Mm-hmm. Explain the the concept behind that. So, um, it is basically means like for life, um, in like a literal sense. But it's like past that, it's like a um, like hustle like thing. So it's like what we're doing like right now. It's like the hustle we have for like right now is what we strive to maintain for for like our whole life. So it's we have some hustle for this um, um like music shit. We want to have that hustle for whatever we want to do really. And that's how it like kind of um, freaking out that came about. And it wasn't like a group at first and it's still not really like a group yet. It's just like the homies always um, freaking out. I'm like rep it. So now it's like a lot of people's like at names, like it's in like our fans um, on like bios. Like it became like a lot like bigger than what I thought it was going to be really. So that's like hella cool to actually see, you know, it get like way like bigger than what we thought it was. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's always like a great thing. So is it like a, is it like a collective or are you the, the um, artist in it, like how how does it work, right? How is it working right now, and like, and what do you see for it in the future? Okay, so for right now, it's like the like main ones in it who actually have like their own, Following? I guess freaking um like title is me. Um, it's the homie um I'm like pump fake and the homie uh like thirty two, and they all make or yeah, 
and we all make freaking um, I'm like music. It's like the rest of the like people in it are all just homies or are they just fans who just you know I'm, I'm like rep it. Um, it's what I see for it. It's what I want it to be. Is like like an OVO like thing. Mm -hmm. So where we have like merch and we have um a freaking I'm on like festival and it's just like a freaking I'm on like brand really is what I want it to be. And it's and it's not just like a group of people who just like make music. So so, so that's why I'm hoping that it'll like be in the you know future next year. Have you gotten like you got to get some like graphic designers? You got to start building the team. We do have certain stuff right now, like but our like actual um I'm like logo like. We wouldn't even have like an like official one yet. So yeah. I like look you want to like work on that that way, like is we can really start to like build off of that and start like putting stuff on, you know, shirts and have it yeah, and just have like different stuff for it. Yeah, and have it go bigger. Yeah. Um, so I mean what what's coming up for you? Like what's the rest of the year look like and then what's what's the beginning of next year and, and throughout um, shit. It's the rest of the year. We got some more shows. Um, I think we got some more interviews. Um so it's what I want to start to work on is my next project, uh, like Fear None. That'll be dropping like the beginning of next year, hopefully like January, February. Um, I I think that's the main thing I'm actually like, like looking forward to is the like Fear None uh, like album because I, I just want to not like mix my sound up yet, like just take it more um, I'm like serious and just like really like be there like every single week and like it's just not have to bullshit on all the songs or have each song I do like make it and it's what I don't want to do is have like you know like some like long ass album you know like 15 to freaking album I'm like 20 songs yeah but I'd, I'd say like between 9 and 12 is yeah. what I'm like is what I'm freaking I'm like shooting for on this like next project how do you how do you record your music do you just record a bunch of shit and then just decide this is going on the album or um what's your like recording process like yeah okay so it's what I do is I'll, you know, um, I'm like search through beats and I'll like write to, you know, um, like certain ones. I'm like, okay, yeah, like this one slap. And then it's when I hit the freaking, um, I'm like studio, I'm there for like four hours, like minimum. And then uh, like four hours, like I'm able to knock out like six, seven songs easily. Um, so I'll like keep some and then I'll realize that like some really don't fit with the wave that I want on that, you know, um, like album and I'll just like keep them or I'll just have those ones out as freaking out um, like singles. And that's how it kind of works. So you write most of your music. You're not really freestyling oh, too much. Like it's with the uh, like freestyling. It's why I don't like to is because you're not thinking about it that like much. Yeah. Like it's when you freestyle, it's off the like top of your head. And it really doesn't mean as much as when you like wrote something down. It's because you had like hella time to actually like think about like the whole bar and like what it actually means to you. Yeah. So and you I'm, care about that a lot. Uh huh. And you care about that yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Word. Um, so let's say uh, somebody's never heard your music. What's like the best introduction? Like what's the best song you would, like, what's the first song you would tell somebody to listen to if they never heard your music? The best song would be between Air Force Ones and what, uh, freaking out my like Gold Hoops. Which one do you think though? Okay. It'd be my um, like Gold Hoops then. Is that your favorite song or is that just like the best, like the best song to like show somebody? I, I think that's the best song to actually um, like show somebody. Is that, your, is that your favorite? Um, it's my top three. I think my number one favorite is this song called "Love" that I got. I don't know. It's like the beat just hits like super different, and I it like it's, like the shit that I was uh, like saying, like was like the shit I was like really feeling at the time with the person I was with. But we off that type of subject, so <laughs> I'm not. On I kind of want to dig deeper on that one. <laughs> you know, my first one that I took serious in a long time. So like I was really like head over heels, and that's when like, you start like writing songs. Like one, I'm never doing that again. I'm I'm never writing songs for like somebody, or, or not even like for her. <laughs> but it was just like about them ever again. Like I'm I'm never gonna do that because that just gives them like hella power. I I don't want to like do that. But um, it was at the time I just was just feeling it way too much, and so it is that song I got, and there's one called freaking um um like play me. But so but you're saying. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. You're no. saying you'd never want to do that again, yeah. but that's one of your favorite songs. It is. It was just because it meant a lot. Yeah. It was at the time. And if you listen to it. You put a lot into it. Yeah. Like, I think I wrote it for like a full month. So it's it like, wouldn't you, wanna, wouldn't you want to duplicate something like that? I would, but at the same time, I, I don't want to feel like that ever again. Like, especially because I'm not with that person like anymore. 
So it's like a weird like place. Like, is this song is fire yet? I don't want it about that person like anymore. Yeah. Yet it's always gonna be a like it'll always be like for that person. So yeah, I don't like that. But. How's um how's dating in the IE? Cause like dating out here is <laughs> fucking impossible. Honestly, dating in LA is a Bro, fucking is nightmare. Dating in the IE is the hardest shit ever because everybody knows each other. So if you post. Like one girl, you're gonna get a person who's like, bro, her really? You're oh. Like, damn, like I can't talk to nobody. Or it's like some girls would be like, really? Like, why her? You'd be like, well, why is everybody hating on the chick that I like or whatever? Like now, I, I don't even like to talk to girls in, in the IE. It's out the fact that everybody like probably it's they either know them or they know of them, and there's no way in between ever. Yeah, there's there's never in between. It sounds like a nightmare. I can't do it. Dating in LA has been completely impossible for me. Really? Why? Um, I feel like everybody in LA has kind of got their head up their ass. Like in the best way though. Like yeah. I think I got my head up my ass, but you know, just just because like I'm focused, you yeah, know? Yeah, of course. Like people come out here to like work and do business. So like people don't really have time for it. Yeah. And I don't know, like, I don't know how this sounds, but everybody's like really tall and pretty here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, like the this like the, I feel like the average height here is like six feet, and like in Florida, the average height is like maybe like five to six. Really, you know what I mean? Just because everybody's like Spanish and like little and like oh, that is true. You know that, what I mean? It's just different. It's just different. That's that's funny though. I'm also like a new. I'm I'm like new. You know, I'm a transplant, and there is a lot of transplants here. But like, I don't know. I just feel like you come to you come to L.A. and like in in your head, it's like it's big and it's beautiful. It's magnificent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I've just had trouble dating in LA, so I'm always just curious yeah. of like other people's experiences. Like now, like it's when I like mess with a girl, she's in LA or she's in like the valley somewhere. But it's the IE is completely out of pocket. Like I, I don't, I, I just can't touch nobody from the IE anymore. Or it's it like it's even if you don't know anything at first, like with that girl, you'll like find out later. Like bro, she used to fuck with so and so. And then so-and-so, she has, like, this many bodies. Hey, her used to have this. Does that matter to you how many bodies a girl has? Um, I want to say no, but, <laughs> but it does matter. What, what, like, what? It doesn't depend on the body, so it's, like, it depends who it is? No, it's just the fact that you let that many people get to you. Like, you're that I mean, are you that careful with yourself? Yeah. It's my body count is really not as high as it should be. Yeah. Or as it could be. It's It's really not that high. So... And if you're like a female and you let 50 people run through you, that's a big ass number for a female. So I'm like, you let 50 guys do all this shit to you? Yeah. I mean, don't you think that's a little unfair though? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think with the body counts, I I think it's like a double standard. Like it's the guys have some type of leeway. I'm not making the rules for this, but I, I, I think this is the guys, how you feel. Yeah. I think the guys have like some type of um like leeway, like, that's a little sexist. Is, sorry. <laughs> you know, and I, I didn't make the rules yet. It's when a person hears that a guy has um like 50 bodies, it's, it's you think championed. Of, yeah. When like a girl has 50 bodies. It's not. You're a hoe. Yeah. And I'm not saying that like in my head, that's just what I can ask half the people here and they'd be like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. But it's just, it's not fair. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not fair. Oh, it's definitely not fair, it, but that's just how it goes. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's like a societal construct, yeah. though, you know? Like, I feel like a lot of those things um, are just taught, you know? Like, if nobody, like, if if, if it was taught the opposite way, you know, yeah. that's how we would think, too. Yeah, yeah, facts. So, but for me, I can't mess with a girl with a high body count. But I'd rather not even know. Yeah. Like, it, like it's now that we got older, I don't even want to know, it, like, it's what your body count was. Like, back in high school... If I heard it was fifteen, I'm already like, oh no, like I'm cool. No, no, no. Yeah. Now I don't I don't care what the number is. I just don't want to hear it and I don't want to hear it from anybody else. Yeah. So that's all I care about at this point. Not like all I care about, but as far as for that situation. That's, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, if is there any advice that you have for like maybe some of your fans or maybe just like a kid in like a similar situ situation that you were in maybe a few years ago? Like, do you have any advice for them? Um my advice would be to keep going because it's half the reason that a lot of people don't pop is because they don't keep going or they just feel like, you know, like shit isn't like moving as fast as it should. I'm just going to stop doing it. Like, don't like stop. Just keep on pushing because it'll, it like something's always going to happen. And then that is when you know, like, all right, I'm like, I'm about to start to like really, you know, I'm like push this shit like tough now.
Yeah, absolutely. I, I kind of say like the same thing to myself. It's like the day you quit is the day you lose and you're winning until you quit. Yep. That, that, exactly what I think. So, and it's just have um, like patience because you're not going to pop in a month that you first start music or the first year, maybe like it. Like it you it ever is, think about it though? Like some people actually do. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think about it all the time. And I also like think about though, it's like who, you know, yeah. And that's how half of the like industry works is, is off like who you know really or it's just how freaking i'm on like blue face like blew up in like what like less than like a year I, I think that was mainly on purpose but then i also feel like he just knew people who were also yeah. uh, like tied into so do you ever feel pressure to like try to do something viral to like make your music go up or like get a face tat or like you know just something something outrageous um Sometimes it's with my, uh, you know, freaking out, like, music. It, like, it's what I want to do is make, like, certain songs that I know will, like, go up. But then I think about it, and if that's my biggest song, I'm going to be pissed because that's probably not my favorite song. Or like, I, or, like, I probably don't even, you know, like, like it like that. So that, so I don't really listen to, or, I mean, I'll, like, listen to, you know, to, like, you know, like, bigger stuff, but I don't like to, like, make it my own because I'm just not going to like it as much. Like, if I made this big-ass song and it's, the like number one and I hate it and I have to do it at every single show that I'm booked at every single weekend. Like, same time though, if it's number one, you're getting a check. The, <laughs> same it's time like, you like, damn, like I really hate this song. Like I don't like, you might like, m like lose um, like love for it really. Yeah. Cause you're like, damn, like, I like, I, I see this stupid ass song that I don't even like anymore. Like I like, this is not fun to me because yeah. I'm doing the same exact shit, but I don't be doing that. I'm on my own shit. If I like it and it's like the homies like it, I'm going to put it out. And that's how I think. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, where can people find you at? Um, they can find me everywhere at 4L Javi. Twitter, Instagram. I don't be on Facebook, but um, freaking I, out nobody's on, like SoundCloud, on Facebook. Apple Music. Huh? I said nobody's on Facebook. No, yeah. So that's, yeah. <laughs> there so. is people on Facebook, but they're like 35 plus. Older, yep. Old people. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Thank you for coming. Thanks I really for having appreciate me. it. Um, um, wait, what was I going to say? If something, do you ever feel like Kavi isn't like a different enough name? Isn't different enough? Like, you, like think about like your, your search engine optimization. Like you ever think like, I'm, I'm actually really glad she like, okay. So it was earlier this week. I like changed everything. It's like for El Javi. So like, it's like my songs on like Apple music will be changed to like for El Javi. Mm. And that's cause I'll like look up Javi. The first one that pops up is the Mexican guy from uh, like team mom. And I and I never watched it, but it, but it's the first thing that you know like pops up. And then it's when I Google freaking um like four L Javi, all my stuff like pops up fast yeah. as hell. So I'm like, I might as well just change it to that. Absolutely. Because that's, like no one else is gonna have the name, obviously. So yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming. Yep. I appreciate you. This is the Mars Files. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yes, sir. Peace.